Hi guys, welcome back, Scanlink here, and we are off for more of Sega Blacksmith RPG, an RPG Maker game that I made myself. In the last part, we made it through Cecily's half of episode 12 of the anime, in Sega Blacksmith, of course, and we are literally outside the doorstep to the final boss, or the last bunch of bosses that come beforehand, because we already know that there is some woman standing in front of us, in between us and Siegfried, and therefore Luke as well, which is who we're searching for, and well, here we are. So, might as well update my other file here, make sure that we're all equipped to go. So let's do so quickly. Uh, battle Axe, nope. Okay, well I think we're all good on Lisa's front, because we do need her. She's going to be helpful. Got a Flail and a Dragon Claw, so that's very great. Can't really give her anything else, so Cecily's the only one now. Uh, we're all good to go, I believe. Um, I don't want to have the dragon... Uh, I do want to have the dragon shield. I don't want either, any of these two. In fact, I have two frame shields. That's probably because Luke had one already equipped. Got dragon mail, and we also got the fire ring, which will help immensely. But not in the battles to come. So, it just gives us a bit of extra defense, so that helps. Well, other than that, I think it's time to finish this. Let's go onward. Okay, this is it. There's no going back at this point. We should prepare beforehand. I'm ready. Now, Arya is supposed to be transformed for this point. You, normally, you would, she would already be transformed for the whole of this point, but I wanted to get her some experience, like I've already said in the last part. But she has to transform into a weapon because of this, and if she does transform into a weapon, you get a last chance in the menus. Because, obviously, you can equip her. Notice that you cannot save now. You had your chance, so if you blew it, your fault. Now, I would equip Arya, and you know what? I am going to, because, well, you're supposed to. I mean, we will get the extra, we will get the wind damage if we do a normal attack. If we had the Tom Hagane Blade, we'll just do normal damage without any elements. Of course, like I always say, Combo Plus doesn't allow the, or any other abilities don't allow the weapon's own um, statuses and elements to be affected with the attack, and it just acts like a normal attack. So, with that out of the way, we're all fully healed, we're good to go, let's do this. Francesca! She is that guard that we've seen before, and she was also that hooded girl that was with Siegfried all that time. If you want to get to Lord Siegfried, you'll have to go get through me first. I'm warning you, I wield a demon sword. You don't want to fight me, it could cost you your life. Don't you worry about me. Die! Here we go, Francesca emerged, all armoured and everything, with cape and all the other trimmings. She is not easy, she will be tough, but at least we have Lisa here to heal us up when needed. And the music is building up already. So, let's get a Wind Veil on right now, and you can have a Weapon Forge to try and lower her defense! It completely missed. Alright, so let's get some defense and wind defense. Your little wind tricks aren't gonna... Yeah, your little wind tricks isn't gonna work against me, bitch. Now die. No way in hell! Okay, it's building up. Let's do a wind beam! And, well yeah, she kind of resists wind attacks, which is kind of funny. So you're gonna have to watch out for that. Um, she can attack normally. Boom. 103 damage. I should try another... What's his face? D5! No effect on Cecily, okay, that's alright. Because if it was on Lisa, we would be in trouble, because that will lower her effectiveness on magic. So, I think let's go for a wind launch! We'll get some speed up with this as well. In fact, do I have the magic to do both? No, I won't. Let's try a wind release! Let's see how powerful it is. And we'll do another weapon forge. Because, like I said, Cecily doesn't have the highest magic. Develops her wilderness blade in fearsome wind! 600 damage! Would have been more if she was weak to it, but she isn't, so... No more attack on for Cecily, and Lisa can try for another weapon forge. I want to get that defense down. Damn it, it missed! Stop missing! D5, don't hit! Okay, always using it on Cecily, so that's not too bad, I guess. Um, I would go for a stone. Nah, let's go for a bitch slap. She called us a bitch. I'll give her a bitch slap. Um, don't need devotion from the grave right now. Because it gets rid of all status elements and debuffs, so that helps as well. Let's just do a normal attack. Boom. Music's already gone for a lap. I didn't get a flinch, damn it! Let's do a normal attack here, and... Yeah, I guess 
Cecily could have to heal. I'm not really going to be doing any more damage other than another 100. Would you stop dodging? Wow, she's agile. Yeah, she's not tough. <laughs> we are coming to the end here. So, oh god, she actually lowered my spirit. Okay. <laughs> well, we do have faith to fix that issue. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use it. In fact, no. I'm going to use faith on Lisa to um, boost her effectiveness and spells. And I'll use devotion from the grave to fix up that status problem. You can do it. I'll back you up with my power. We covered 500 HP. Always. It's always set. So, that's a thing. Oh, okay. It doesn't work with debuffs. I might have got that mixed up with just uh, status ailments. Yeah, of course. Derp. It's not debuffs, it's just status elements, otherwise it would say. How did I forget that? Maybe I'll change that. Nah, that would just be broken. Yeah, it says all in injuries and status elements. I read that wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, we don't want to use magic here. Just bash her. What? That's two attacks missed on that one turn. Luckily I went for the bloody combo plus, because otherwise I wouldn't have even got a hit in on that turn. Wow, we're just missing everywhere. Everyone's missing. Cecily is missing. You play as Luke. <laughs> Mario's missing reference. Uh, paralyzed Glare. Let's see if we can paralyze her. That would help. Uh, get another weapon for John. Boom! Defense has decreased. That's actually very good. Defaith missed. Paralysis Grave. No effect. Okay, just attack. Critical! Damn it, no critical. I also realised in the last episode, in the last part even, Aria critical to herself in confusion. I didn't think that was possible. So that's quite funny. And I was like cheering because I saw the critical, but then I didn't read on who it hit. And, it, and I was worried it might have hit my team. But no, she criticaled herself. How do you do that? Speaking of criticals, Lisa just got a decent critical there. Hashtag crit mad. <laughs> Jokes. Whacker. Nope. That's not it! Damn it! How much health does she have? Attack! I'm just spamming attack at this point. There we go, we're not missing anymore. Dodge slide! Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, she's annoying. Let's give her another bitch slap. See if we can pack Jinx her at least. Get another weapon forge. We're using all of our skills at our disposal here. All of our magic. She isn't... She's tough. She's tough. I mean, we don't have Luke's extra power and Lisa's dropping in the health. Okay, combo plus to make up for Lisa's lack of attack, and... Oh hell, I'll just do a recover, heal this both. It's more effective anyway, so I might as well go for the extra magic while doing so. Damn, we're not even doing 100 HP damage anymore. Attack! Come on, I need another crit, that would just finish it off, pretty much, unless she's almost dead. She's very tanky. I mean, she is like the follower of Siegfried there, after all. She is one of Siegfried's guards. Of course, she's going to be tough. So, so far, I haven't had to use any potions or items. There we go, another critical from Lisa. Wow, she's getting all the criticals today. Wow, she's doing tons of damage. Okay, um, let's give it another... Let's just go attack normally, and we will go for another recover. So we're starting to run low in the magic, and we win! I was trying to heal there. 5,000 experience, 2,000 gold, we'll be able to spend that at some point soon. Cecily gained a level, so that's all well and good, but we can't save at the moment. She go, she went. <laughs> Aria, what's wrong? I'm so sorry, Cecily. I guess I used up too much power. Are you sure you're going to be alright? It was a tough fight. Don't worry about me. We need to go find Luke. Oh. Aria. I'm just gonna rest a bit, then I'll catch up. As soon as I'm feeling up to it, I'll join you to fight. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be fine. We made a promise, remember? We swore to protect this town together. A sword always keeps her word. Right. So does a knight. Go. You have to help him defeat Siegfried. Yeah, I know. I'll do my best. I'm the person I am now. Because you're the one who wields me. Well, that battle took it out of Arya. So yeah, we've lost Arya, and we need major healage. And we also need to equip a weapon, because we've pretty much got nothing. So let's do that right now. 
major healage. In fact, I think I've got enough magic to do this one last time. Yep, didn't fully heal us, but that should do. Hopefully, anyway. We've got all this magic water, so I might as well spam it. There we go. Sorted. One use on either one, because it recovers to 100 MP, which is, well, just enough, actually. So, that helps a lot. And because Lisa has... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Lisa has the pharmacy um, character ability. It's one of the things that you can tick in the editor. Um, which means that if she uses an item, or if an item is used on her, it has double the effect, which is why he would more than 200 MP on her, well, on her, because, well, it had double the effect. So, if you need to heal 1000 HP, for example, wait, how much is heal? Yeah, it heals 500 HP. So, if you want to heal 1000 HP without wasting a high potion or a full potion, use a potion on Lisa's turn on somebody, and it will have double its effect. So, I forgot, I completely forgot to mention that. How, we've gone through all this entire game, and I've, only now have I just mentioned it. Well, I guess that makes sense, because... We're this far into the game, and it kind of matters at this point, so... Whatever. So, we're all ready to go. We still cannot save, as you can see. So, we just got to continue on through. If you die, you're going to have to fight Francesca again. So, just going to have to keep on going onwards. Keep on round, and... Luke! Don't die, Luke. You have to hang on. We can't do this without you. Please, Luke. Quit yelling at me! You're giving me a headache. Looks like he got injured in the last battle. <laughs> Damn. Did you come all the way here just to die, Miss Campbell? You made it easy on me. You're not really armed. Foolish girl. That's not going to stop me. I have no problem taking your life, my dear. Get out of here. Take Lisa and run as fast as you can. I'm not running any away anymore, Luke. Don't be an idiot, Cecily. I don't want to lose you too. I won't let another person sacrifice their life for me. Lisa Oakwood gave her life to save the man she loved. It was a sacrifice that meant something. Don't beriddle her death thinking otherwise. She gave you the gift of life. Hers ended so yours could continue. Why can't you see what she did for you? Draw. Stand up. Fight to protect me. And Lisa and everyone else you care about. You have to let go of the past, Luke. It's the only way you, you to repay Lisa Oakwood. Have to let go of the past. You're getting it. Now get up and fight. Lisa, get me Tom and Hogan in a hilt. But, but you're wounded. It doesn't matter. We've got a job to do. Whatever you say, Luke. You ready? Yes. Oh yeah, the Katana Forge is going off. Preposterous. There's no way that fool will be able to forge a sword in his present condition. <gasps> Luke! <coughs> and yet he was able to get it off. <sighs> Luke! Just hold on. Here, Cecily. It's for you. Luke gave Cecily the special katana. I won't make the same mistake twice. I promise the sword will protect you. Looks like you finally got your way. I forged that katana especially for you. And we get to equip it. Still can't save. <laughs> now, what I find funny in the anime is that that, that kid goes on for like two minutes and Siegfried just stands there. You could easily kill them off. But I guess he still has some honor. Whatever that means to someone who controls demons. But yeah, here it is. Special katana. Look at those stats. Woohoo! Specially made for Cecily from Luke. Fragile but deals huge damage. If you want the boss for if you want this boss to be a little bit more challenging, you don't have to equip it. And it kinda makes sense that we wouldn't have a weapon to use that's very good unless we had Aria. But hey, we have a special katana here and look at its power. Definitely better than what we have right now, Tomahogany Blade, but well it's only a little bit more powerful, but it does give us boost to everything else. So, we'll equip it. And oh you know what? Screw it. Boom. This is my katana? Our fate is in your hands now. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I am a night guard, protector of the independent trade cities of Hausman. I am Cecily Campbell. My katana was forged by Luke Ainsworth and Lisa. Prepare yourself, Siegfried. You may control demons, but you're no match for me. I swear I'll strike you down for what you've done. 
It's quite a fright, young lady. I do hope you're able to back it up. Though I doubt you're strong enough to hurt me. You're full of hot air! All, you, all your talk of love and protecting the people you care for is enough to make anyone nauseous. Only, I only wish Valvanil would come down and kill each of you himself. I'm not afraid of him. I'd love a chance to make him pay too. I hereby swear that someday I'll fight him. I'll defeat him with the katana loop made. <laughs> you could have the best katana I've ever forged and it wouldn't do you any good. A sword is only as strong as its wielder. Is ripping off a Hercules match a hero is only as good as his weapon? Technique is not as important as you might think. What matters is having a heart that never yields. Shut your mouth, you obnoxious brat. If you think it's so easy, then come and get me. Or it will take us one blow, and both your sword and your soul will be obliterated. And the final boss battle... ...begins. Now, before we actually begin on this fight... Um, first time I made the game, like, the literal very first version, it was just Cecily on her own. One-on-one -on -one fight like in the anime. Luke and Lisa don't fight, but the fight was way too difficult, so... Luke get Luke and Lisa get to be in the battle as well, but the problem is, Luke starts with poison at the beginning of this battle. So, that is a thing. So, what we're gonna have to do, pretty much, is just use this almighty, um, special katana he made for us and attack him. Luke obviously has poison, so we want to heal that as quickly as possible. But, I'm gonna... Yeah, obviously, Zantetsuka ain't gonna work, so let's katana forge that so we get double power. And I'll use Devotion on the Grave to heal whatever HP he's lost. Maybe a little bit overkill, but at least it'll kill the poison as well. And he might get hit. So, there we go, 416 damage, he's got tons of defense. Lisa, get me Tugman in the hilt. Cecily, come with me. So, get out of that. Still forge on the katana, secret uses poison. Cecily's been poisoned, that's not good news. So, let's get a combo plus on him. Lisa's forged the katana, Luke, Luke's gonna be able to use it in a minute. There we go. Secret cast poison. Lisa's been poisoned. So everyone's poisoned, that's not good news. So let's dodge slide here, get that off. Um, then with... Luke, I would like to do a normal attack because we'll get the holy damage off from the katana, which we already know does massive damage to this dude with the sacred sword. Plus, it's got double power now, so we're pretty much unstoppable. But Luke is now out of magic, which does suck. Lisa, however, I need you to actually devotion on the grave yourself because we need the healer to stay alive. Cure to the poison, there we go. Get that dodge slide off. And power! 895! You want that power because this dude is not easy, as we already know. He's the final boss for crying out loud. Do I need to say? So let's get off a combo plus here. Go for a. Hmm. Go for a protect on Lisa. Because she's taking massive damage already. We're going to have to use a recover. There's no way around it. Because his damage is so powerful. Luckily that she got up to this level. Because otherwise we'd be, we'd be in a right pickle. So if you ever need leveling up. Just battle whatever's in town. <laughs> You'll get the levels. Okay. So we got that off. Let's give, it a, let's give him a stone. And... Just a normal attack, I guess. Make it last. And I want to get rid of that poison on Cecily for now. Boom! 157. That was not exactly powerful, but I wanted to use it. It's not like we can use any other skills. Poison strike. Damn it. I just healed that poison! Ugh! That's one annoying thing when someone specializes in poison damage. Always get poisoned. Same in Pokemon when the computer has 30% extra hacks power of everything, pretty much. Computer hacks. Let's go a normal attack here. Go with a combo plus for extra damage, hopefully. And... Oh, Cecily really needs the heal, so let's do that. And I gave it a defense up as well. No, I didn't. I gave that to Luke. Uh, Lisa. Never mind. Maybe I should do that to Luke. Yeah, Luke and Lisa as well. So it's Cecily. I should just do it on everybody, and Quake's doing massive damage! Good lord. Attack, boy. You. 
This is his final attack on this ability, so let's do that and recover. All of this, all of Lisa's magic is just going into healing. Now you can see why I sh you could struggle if you don't have the other two characters with you. You need them. I had to literally spam items, and even then I barely won, which is why I allowed these two to be in the final fight. Of course, I can't make Arya in the final fight, because reasons, she just got knocked out, so... in story, anyway. <sighs> Lisa needs healing again, this is ridiculous. Attack! Recover everybody again! Recover! Boom! Oh, we dodged the attack! Are you serious? And the Forge Katana broke! Thank you for wasting my final hit with that attack boost. You mug. Just trying to decide what I want to do here. I mean, I don't have to think as fast because it's not ATB based. Like Final Fantasy VI is, so I can take my time on choosing. But really, with Luke, all I want to really do is just... Uh, you know what? In no, Combo Plus. I don't know. Okay, so let's use Devotion on the Grave and heal Cecily of a Poison and give her 500 HP because it's set HP heal. So it's not affected by uh, spirit, which is pretty cool, I guess. <coughs> Decent damage. Poison Strike. Good, no effect on Cecily, so it didn't even hit. Let's give him a... I'm going to go for a bitch slap. Yeah, we're going to bitch slap the final boss, how about that? And attack him normally with Luke to get the holy effect on the weapon, and... You really need to heal yourself. Devotion from the grave on yourself to kill the poison as well. Here we go. Yes! He flinched! You get a free attack in! Sweet. Right, that was excellent. You know what? I'm gonna do that again. In fact, no. I'm gonna give him a paralysis glare. See if I can get three free turns in. Three free turns? <laughs> Protect Cecily. And attack normally. Because I don't actually need to heal for a change. Only 64 damage. Legendary number. No effect on Siegfried. Luke took that damage. Whoa, bloody hell. His HP just dropped. Dropped like a stone. Get it? Because I just used it. <laughs> Let's burn him. Set him on fire. Oh, anyway. Devotion on the grave. He needs it. That's a full heal for him pretty much. I was supposed to get rid of that poison. And he's done. 10,000 experience, 10,000 gold. Unlike other games that just don't give you experience, you do. Cecily now level 17 and N Aero was learnt. Basically, it's like M Fire, but instead of Fire type, it's Wind type. So, whatever weapon you're using, you can give it a wind based attack power. So, it gets Wind Elemental. Luke's level 15 and Flame was learnt. That's basically the fire spell that we used to finish him off with, funnily enough. But, instead of targeting one enemy, it targets all the enemies! And Lisa's now 17 and gets nothing. And Ari gets left out. Cecily's special katana snapped in half. I will have my revenge one day, I swear! Cecily Campbell, Lise Luke Ainsworth. Damn, Git made his escape. Thank you, Luke. For what? The katana was a total failure. That's not entirely true. I mean, if it wasn't for that sword, I wouldn't have had the confidence to face Siegfried. I felt completely safe while wielding your katana. It's the reason I'm alive right now. Heh! <laughs> I think you're just lucky. I know you try to be modest, but you got to admit, you're good at what you do. I believe in you. I mean, you are the sacred blacksmith. Well, I don't know about that. But you sure do know how to talk a guy out of a funk. Come on, let's go. Our work here isn't done. There's two people in town who need our help. Wait, you want to keep fighting? Of course, it's my job. Gotta keep people safe. And cue the anime credits! Which I'm actually gonna skip because just like with the intro, it may be a bit too long for it to be actually allowed. So we can only view the, uh, well, my own credits for the game because, yeah, visuals. So that could be an issue. 
so sorry, but if you want to watch them, you can watch the actual anime, so that's a thing. And now, yeah, my own credits here. Created an RPG Maker VX by Enterbrain, game created by me, of course. All rights belong to their respective owners. I do not claim the Sick of Black... I do not own the Sick of Blacksmith. It's a fan-made game, as I've already stated a numerous amount of times. Presets, sprites by Enterbrain, of course, because it's part of the program. Custom sprites by me on Famitsu.com. There's like a... Um, it just, there's like a generator, like you can choose set certain pieces, but for Aria, I had to actually design it myself. I had to like get as close to the design as possible with the cut with the Famitsu Maker, and then I had to completely redesign it in paint, really. <laughs> so yeah, I'm an expert in paint. And maps created by me. Every single map is created by me. Equipment skills, battlers by Interprain and me, a mixture of the both. Preset face sets, but by Interprain, but the custom ones are made by me from images of the anime. Now, r the RSSBS script re redo's simple side battle system, which makes it look like it's Final Fantasy, like classic Final Fantasy, that's the script that was used. So if you want to find the dude who made that script, there you go. Then it's Dry Drupo's VX Edit of the Trickster's Caterpillar script. So I can have the uh, characters follow you when you're walking around. Uh, so yeah, thanks to him for the uh, XP original and Rapido for the VX Edit. Simple AVI player event mini script to play videos in game window by Zeus. I'm sorry if this is incorrect, but as far as I know, it's Zeus. Um, that pretty much allows you to like play video, like the anime cutscenes basically, in the window, so it doesn't open like Windows Live Movie Maker in a separate window or something. It's in the actual game. Anime cutscenes recorded by me with Hypercam 2. With credits, of course. <laughs> Presets, sound effects, MFX, BGM, and background sound by Enterbrain. Chant sound effects recorded by me with Audacity. Not the best quality, but I couldn't really do much at the time. And original soundtrack is from the creators of the Sega Blacksmith. Cutscene text written by me directly from the anime, English dub. Forgot to put that in. Animation by Enterbrain. Parallax backgrounds by Enterbrain. Playtesting by me, Master Aaron, my bro, and Super Lucario. And of course, you guys, if you've been playing it as well. I consider you uh, playtesting the game because it's not version 2.0 yet, it's still. It's been made, it works, but we still need to work out some kinks, which is why we're in bloody version 1.7. We started on bloody version 1.3, I think, so we had like five different updates just throughout this little project, my lord. But hey, I liked it, I, I liked creating it, so. Anything else that I may to belong to their creators, and that's the credits. Congratulations! You have saved the city and the state is peaceful once again. For now, anyway. Do you want to save your completed game file? Yes, of course you do. I'm going to do it in Quest Log 4. And, this doesn't mean that it's just done. You can now explore Houseman and its fields again. The story is over and you can spend time exploring, buying equipment and leveling up. But what about that draft under the gravestone? If you remember, there was something under a gravestone. Well, guess what? We're in the after game. That's right, I made after game. Because all 12 episodes of the anime are finished, that's exactly where it ends, with a bunch of cliffhangers. Where did Siegfried go? Is he going to attack again? What about Charlotte making it to the garrison state? Who was that princess that was sitting on a throne? You don't know unless you read the manga, because there isn't a season 2, which I think there should be. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So even though this is technically the finale, we've got bonus stuff to do, mostly after game stuff. So... We always have this full team with us, so they can all get experience now. All being fully healed, and, well, yeah, the only way you can switch a team up is if you remove Arya, or turn her into a weapon, then put her back in the party, she'll be at the bottom. That's the only difference you could do. We've got tons of money to buy shit, and we can explore the entire city of Hausman. So, in the next episode, guys, I can actually call them episodes again now, because the anime coverage of the story is done. We will get on with the after game that I created. There are a few more things that you may not even notice. See you guys next time.